Hi, this is Rich and Chris from Retro Sanctuary. Today we're going to be attempting to complete Bruce Lee for the Commodore 64. This is an early platform game. It's an American game which was brought over here by US Gold, which were a British company that basically imported early Commodore 64 games and then ported those games to other systems like the Spectrum, which weren't popular in America. This is the first Commodore 64 game we're doing for the channel, mainly because my Commodore is very temperamental uh, it constantly crashes, and actually it totally broke like last week, but uh, I've kind of merged two broken Commodore 64s together, patched them up with tape, and uh, hopefully this will hold out for uh, long enough to do the video. <laughs> blue tack, yeah. a bit of brick stick. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, you ready to load up the game? Yeah, let's try it, let's, let's load up the game. Right, so this game came out about a year after Manic Miner, so uh, you've played Manic Miner, haven't you? I have, so yeah. expect something that's a little bit more advanced than that. It's about a year, year and a bit before Super Mario Bros. One, so it's between so a the bit two. Less advanced than that. Yeah, it's, it's between the two, effectively. Gotcha. The aim is to collect all of the lanterns and to get all the keys, essentially. Right, here we go. Two players. Yeah, we can try that out later after we've managed to complete it, if we can do. Those are the lanterns there, you see? That's jump. it, yeah. That's the climbing section, yeah. yeah. You don't really want to go up there until you've got all the lanterns. Oh god, there's a ninja. I hear him, didn't I? You keep missing him. <laughs> That's Aha. it. You can take like 10 Aha. hits on I think. Aha. Oh what? We both got kicked. <laughs> That's right, getting outplayed out. Ah. Oh. He lost a life. Oh, was that it? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, the two-player mode on this, one person actually tries to stop the other one from completing the, the oh, game. Oh, okay. I'm so not cooperative then. Yeah, counter up. Can I jump off of this kind of climbing can... section, or just come off it? There. Right, now you got to work out which way you've got to go next. Okay. But you've got all of the items there, so it's opened up a section. Is that drop down? Yeah, look, that thing down the bottom there. Yep. He came down pretty damn quick. I'm guessing those are lasers that can hurt me. Yeah, and they hurt the bad guys as well. Okay. Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> nearly managed it. What, is it instant boost. kill? Yeah, it does just kill you. Hit him in the laser. I'm trying to! <laughs> laser, come on! <laughs> well, at least that one nearly out of the way. <laughs> Why does this guy keep coming back? Yeah. Chop, 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 chop! See these sections here, mm. you just got to make sure to collect these lanterns when they're open, essentially. And Hold on, where do I go now? You go up that middle section. I can climb it, can I? Yeah, be careful of the spikes at the top and the sides though. Okay, so that's alright then, yeah? Yeah, just go to the right. Careful with the speed now. Just make sure you collect it while it's open, because it stops the other thing from working, you're going to die now. Oh, Game over. Oh, okay. Do you want another go or should I? You go. Yeah, so the Commodore 64 was actually my first games machine. I uh, got one when I was seven, I, I believe it was, mm. and uh, I asked for an NES, but I got a Commodore 64. <laughs> but uh, I'm was glad a, now. <laughs> it's uh, in retrospect, it's a pretty good machine. Actually, I had a lot of fun with it, playing uh, games like Turrican and stuff on there. Mm. And uh, you were the same, weren't you? You got a Commodore 64. I, I did. Yeah. I got a Commodore before I got an S. My family had other games machines before the Commodore though, because we had like an Atari 2600. Uh, my brother got that when I was born, around when I was born. And my brother had a, uh, a Spectrum as well. See those, they're like landmines, those things. So you can run over them. They're but... like little trees that grow. <laughs> It's good because you can get the, the bad guys chase after you and then they just get blown up and they get to get to the mine. Oh! There's quite a lot of different stuff in this. I mean, obviously, like we said, this is after Manic Miner. Uh, Manic Miner doesn't even have levels that join on or anything, does it? No. Whereas this has levels that join on and it has all these other little elements in it. Climbing and things. Move it! <laughs> <laughs> How do you get up? You, you go around it. 
because it opens up. It's sl the game slowly opens up as you collect these yeah, items, yeah. basically, and you you go new routes and then you come back around. Yeah, no in-game music or anything, but in '84 it's weird because obviously the C64 has this fantastic sound chip, like one of like well ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the Commodore 64 games, the early ones, don't actually have in-game music yet. It's not really standard yet, you know. I think it was the Japanese that really started putting in-game music into all of their games. A little bastard tried to stab you. He is a little prick, isn't he? So we're back above ground now. That dragon's opening his mouth. Is yeah, you can get through there now. Right, okay. Now, from this point onwards, you've got to get these locks. Oh. Locks, what are they yin and yang? Uh, no, they're like, you see these locks on the wall here? Oh, bastard! Oh, oh, crap. It's looking unlikely that I'll manage this now. I think they're supposed to be locks. Get out of my way! Told you, <laughs> motherfucker! You're going in the, the mine, mate. No, well, he not. just disappeared. Oh, I've probably just hit him so many times that he just died. Is that a lock up there? Yeah. I can barely see that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, golden gangs. Those ones didn't get set off by you, why? Hey, <laughs> and they actually spawn at the top left as well on that screen, so it's actually useful to do that. I hate this section. It's just a bit jumpy. Oh, this is hard, this ain't hard. And go, go. Oh, no, all right. I thought it'd come to the end of it. Easy enough. Go. Jump. Oh, bugger. Oh. Stop him. That's Get it. off there, you prick. Jump and jump and jump and jump. Sorry. Oh, oh, I just got kicked in the face by his oh. mate. Off the ladder. Get off. Hey, oh, you know, he got done. Yeah, this game was quite massive in America, I think, but it never really reached the massive amounts of popularity in Britain. Mm. We were all going on about Jet Set Willy all the time over here. <laughs> Sounds a bit iffy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the British humour, isn't it? But uh, I'm not I'm not keen on Jet Set Willy. I'd much rather be playing this game. Oh, you're going to be quick. This bit is quite cool as well. See, we were playing Run Saber like recently, obviously, yeah, we know, were. the videos, and this actually has its own climbing and grappling stuff in it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now this bit is nasty. Can you see that spike on the ground? Yeah, there? <laughs> it's like two little dots. It's only nasty when you don't see the sprite. When you've seen the sprite, it's not too bad, but yeah, you can just end up walking into that blasted thing. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do this bit fast as well, because there's a thing coming along. The, there's a spike coming along the bottom there, so yeah. to make sure you. Uh, right, I'm going to do this in one here. Go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, come on! Done it! Oh, I'm relieved about that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it in one life. Has two lives remaining. Yeah, I've done it all right in the end, didn't I? What? That's the end screen. And it looks like it's crashed, but it actually is supposed to look like that. <laughs> That's his treasure. Yeah, there's some fire, I guess, in the back. Oh, is that no, treasure? That's treasure. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right, I think, actually. Have you thought that it's fire this yeah. entire time? Well, I've... Not like it. it's not Shiny like I had treasure. this game as a child or anything. But uh, yeah, he does some celebrations. Congratulations. Actually, to be honest, that's a pretty good ending for this sort of time period. Yeah, <laughs> and then it wraps around to the beginning again. I think it does get more difficult, but um, we're not going to do that. Right, let's see. F3. Opponent. I guess it's like that. Two players. Yeah, opponent and F7 to begin. Let's go. Are you controlling it? Yeah, you are. Can I collect these? <laughs> Ah, you can't even jump, can you? Green yabo. That's it, I timed you. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, I kicked my own friend. 
Go car pay sometime. <laughs> <laughs> That's camping. He's camping. You got a car pay sometime, Chris. <laughs> Kill your friend. Watch him kill your friend. He'll there be back goes. anyway. He's dead. I killed him. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> dirt. I guess you don't need those items. Anyway, you can come back for them, can't you? I can't get past you. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Oh. Yes. One Player one. two, what do you now control? Oh, we put it on the wrong thing. No, now I've got Yabo. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Come back here. Yeah, shit. Leave me alone. <laughs> ah, there you go. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> he was snoozing. <laughs> right. Come back. See ya. <laughs> I'm off. I'm never going to catch you. <laughs> oh, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> I need to get out of this fast. Oh. Yeah! It's kicked off into you the bastard. <laughs> That's fantastic. This is great. Oh no. Oh, fl I fluffed up now. <laughs> you suck. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can't hit me while I'm inside your body. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jump. <Jobs>. Yay! <laughs> Coward! Coward! <laughs> That's what you did! Yeah, nice try. Oh, you're a scumbag! <laughs> this is a great two player game. It is cool, actually, isn't it? it I is never even played this on two player either. I was impressed with the game before I played this. This is why the Americans love it. Yeah. Well, I, to be honest, the, the single player is probably better than like virtually every other platformer from this day anyway. The two players really nicely thought out though. Yeah. This is this is really impressive actually I think for mm. 84. Ah, the snooze you oh. ah. That the bleeding ninja killed me. Right, where the fuck am I? Oh yeah. Oh I forgot I gotta do this now. <laughs> I saw what you were doing. No ninja no <laughs> Jabba Wong and the Pinchy. Yeah, take that. No, stop squeezing. No. Yeah, take that. No. Yeah, back up you come. You're getting kicked off the edge. Am I? Am I, sir? Am I getting kicked off the edge? <laughs> Got it. No! No, Yabo! Go on, final bus! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! Uh. <laughs> i tell you what that final boss also reminds me of. It's a bit of a stretch, but uh, Bowser in first Super Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah. Run past all the blasts and just hit the switch to kill him, essentially. So that kind Have of you got to walk through the door yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. There you go. And now, I celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good two player game yeah I think that's a great game actually so what do you think about the game then Rich? I think it's actually the best platform game released in 1984 either the best or the second best after Montezuma's Revenge but it's in the top two I would say because it's it's fairly clear what you've got to do I mean you might get lost in a, in a, in a section for like a minute or two just working out which way you're going when the door opens or looking for the locks but it's not anything that's going to get you caught up for hours on end or anything, is it, you know? So it's fairly clear what you're doing. It's uh, got good controls, I would say. The grappling is cool. I love the, the climbing and the uh, doing the monkey bars sections. Those, they're quite cool. There's quite varied screens in there. For me, personally, the best part of that is the two-player. Yeah. The two-player is so much fun. If uh, it's just being able to dodge round each other and trying to screw each other up, that's great yeah. fun. It's it adds really a lot of longevity to the game. game as well. It does. A really, really good game. And you never played the two player? No, I haven't now, played so it on two player. That's a whole but, new uh, facet that you've never even seen before. The level designs work well with the two player, don't they? Because they give you loads of little areas where you can trick people or knock them into the hazards and all this sort of stuff. So it's well designed as a two player game. You know, I nearly had you well. on that second section when I was <laughs> up the top there. If I just managed to kick you off, I don't think you would have done it. 
So uh, this game, like in uh, in closing, it's got varied gameplay. It's got excellent two player. The graphics aren't bad. Mm. I would say they're okay. They're a bit bit blocky, but uh, this is it's, it's doing enough for 1984. I would say. Uh, sound there's no in game music, but that's normal. I would say for 1984, 1984 as well. Yeah. So given that I think it's one of the best. Uh, platform games obviously I'm giving it a full score of 5 out of 5 because I think it's just I think it's a fantastic game for its time and it's, it actually plays it's still fun to play which is not something you can say about a lot of these uh, platform games for this time you know for me I enjoyed the single player but it was all about the two player for me yeah. I'm a massive multiplayer game fan I really love all multiplayer yeah. games and that it's very just, competitive I'm extremely <laughs> competitive and that was Hands down, the most fun I've had playing two player with him in a long time because he <laughs> hates playing two player yeah. games with me against me because I'm so competitive. Yeah. So for me, that is definitely a five out of five game yeah, for me as well. Five. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed the two player. Okay, guys, that's it for this week. We really enjoyed playing Bruce Lee. Definite five out of five game for both yeah. of us. The two player, excellent for me. I, I, I liked both uh, one player and two player. I thought we were awesome, to be honest. Yep, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So we will see you next week with another game. Take care. See ya.